Welcome to the channel, I'm Base Bellagio. In today's video, we are going to discuss possible Easter eggs in Starfield that Bethesda could use in this game from other games. This is going to be a prediction video of sorts to see how many of these come true and make it into Starfield. The first one is Monster Easter Eggs. Sort of like the Uderfricht from Oblivion and Skyrim. Bethesda has a vast pool of lore and monsters that they can pull from, from the Elder Scrolls universe. And many of these creatures can make it into Starfield in the form of alien creatures. Let me explain. Think of goblins in Oblivion and how there was a whole goblin war system. Will they bring this system back for Starfield? Maybe a space alien faction that's just like the goblins, and they war with each other if you steal their totems. That's very possible. Like I mentioned the Uderfrick before, that was a troll-like creature that was reveled about in oblivion through the lore, and then you actually saw the thing in Skyrim, or a relative of the Uderfrick in Morrowind. And it could be very interesting what Bethesda pulls out of their sleeve to put in this game. I can almost guarantee there will be some type of reference to possibly the Uderfricht or other creatures in their game. Definitely space mud crabs will be in Starfield. Mark my words. Space mud crabs. And also probably space giant mushrooms. The next we'll go right into the dragon aspect. That's also a big possibility that can make it into an alien sci-fi form in Starfield. Dragons could take any numerous shapes and sizes as an alien creature. They could be serpentine. They could just be giant lizard-like enemies. But I can almost guarantee we're going to see some form of dragons. And the space dragon meme will be completed and it was foretold here. Also, what about a religious system? My predictions are there will be some sort of religions in Starfield. We already know of one religion with those pirates in the trailer and the guy picked a trait or a background. I can't remember quite right now, but basically he was part of their religion and they let him go. I'm sure there'll be many religions how deep will it be, though? Will there be deities that are spoken about? Will there be in-game churches or temples that you can go to and gain blessings or buffs, praying to one deity or another? With multiple religions, will there be multiple churches? I think this is definitely up Bethesda's alley for adding all these things into Starfield with different churches, different quest lines, and that leads me to the next subject, guilds. We know that there's going to be organizations or you join one for the main story of the game. But will there be other guilds like a fighter's guild or a space magic guild? Obviously, from the trailer, it doesn't seem like space magic is common. But your character, from interacting with an artifact, does develop some sort of space magic. Are you going to be able to create your own spells, like in Oblivion, Morrowind, and to a certain extent Skyrim? With each iteration of the game, the magic creation system became less and less from Morrowind. But back to religions, with multiple religions and possibly deities, will there be the opposite end of that? Think about the Daedra in the Elder Scrolls series. They are a physical manifestation on the world of Elder Scrolls of a dark side force, a demon force, you could say. Now, Starfield could have any number of enemies uh, of aliens in space, but will there be some sort of supernatural, esoteric demon slash Daedra in Starfield? With yourself in the game, it looks like you getting space magic from interacting with the artifact, will there be an opposite space magic force? You know, like the enemies of these ancestor aliens that created the artifact. 
We're going to find out. So that's another prediction of maybe a Daedra-like entity or dark force in the game. You won't just be fighting pirates and bounty hunters and smugglers. I estimate there will be some evil entity. If it was a Star Wars world, it would be the Empire to the Rebels. You know what I'm saying? Some antagonist in the system. With these religion systems and maybe dark side Daedra-like systems, could there be vampires in Starfield? Now we are definitely pushing the envelope from sci-fi into fantasy, but there are genres out there and lores out there in various stories of futuristic vampires. And let's even take a look at another Bethesda title, Fallout 3, where there were vampire-like beings in the game. There was a cult that lived in the subways, and they basically were vampires or LARPing as vampires, drinking blood, etc., etc. With the space genre, I would not discredit the fact that Bethesda loves to put vampires in all of their games, all the way back to Daggerfall. And could there be vampires in Starfield? Or even werewolves? Or some type of transforming people? Or aliens or abilities? Literally with creating a new universe like this, Bethesda's entire creative palette is able to be utilized. The world is their oyster, basically. They can make any lores, any creatures, anything they want. Will this be like Mass Effect? with multiple alien species of intelligent creatures that are talking to you, that is left to be determined. And then last but not least, my favorite prediction, my favorite Bethesda play style and trick up their sleeve, a Dark Brotherhood style guild or an assassin quest line, will you be able to be a space assassin? We already know that you are going to be able to bounty hunt or get bounty hunted, either or. But will you be able to be a space assassin? Will there be a space Morag Tong or a space Dark Brotherhood in Starfield? That is my final prediction. I believe that there's a very good chance that there will be again some type of seedy underbelly and even so seedy as an assassin guild, a hitman guild, or even an awesome Dark Brotherhood style questline. Throughout all of Bethesda's titles, the Dark Brotherhood and their assassin questlines have been the best and the most fun, on top of all the other great quests in their games. But I think we all remember the Dark Brotherhood vividly. They were amazing in Oblivion. They were awesome in Skyrim. And the Morag Tong and Dark Brotherhood were great in Morrowind. But that is about it. Comment down below what your predictions are of things that are going to make it in Starfield. Basically Bethesda flavors that they add to their games. Easter eggs, things like that. Also hit that thumbs up button. It helps out the channel tremendously. Share this video with a friend or a Discord or Twitter, share this video, you will help out. And if you want to support the channel more than that, that alone I am extremely grateful for. The thumbs up, the shares, the subscribing. I have a Patreon down below, and you can always help out the channel, make more professional content. I will catch you on the next one for more awesome videos, reviews, tutorials, and general game information. Thank you for watching.